Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders radio network. And we are blessed this week to have Larry Jacobson, retirement fulfillment coach with us. And for those of you that are interested or thinking about what am I going to do with the next chapter in my life if I'm retiring or if you're a caregiver and you had to leave your job, um, here you are looking at how can I go back to a workplace? Maybe you've changed as an individual through your experience. This um, segment in this program is for you this week. And Larry, um, I'm so glad you're back. And I really want to touch, b- go back to, um, you mentioned something that was really profound to me, the difference between fulfillment and pleasure. Hmm. Um, could could we expand a little bit more on that? Sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me give you an example. Okay. I'm a sailor. As uh-huh. you- yes, you are. And uh, so if I go out in my boat and I, when I'm coming back into the dock uh, and I dock the boat perfectly and don't hit the dock and tie Mm -hmm. it up and everything. And that's all just great. I feel good about myself. Yeah. That's, that's uh, that's self-esteem. That's nice. That's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. If I take a friend out who's never steered a boat before. And I teach them how to dock the boat. Mm -hmm. And as we come in, they dock the boat perfectly. That is fulfillment. Ah, because you had made a difference in that person's life. life. Okay. There's a Yiddish word called kvel. I love it. Right? That you kvel. You're just, you're, you're overflowing with feeling good and pride and you know it's like taking your your grandson or daughter out and teaching them how to ride a bike uh-huh. and 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 then they're like so excited and then you're excited and you realize i just changed somebody's life they now know how to ride mm-hmm. a bicycle yeah so so just going back to we're talking about the difference why can't you live just a life of multiple pleasures let's just say yeah. you're just doing things what what what's wrong with that? So everything doesn't have to have purpose and fulfillment. Okay. Not everything that you do. So you can go do fun things and go travel and play golf and sleep in and, and that, but you're going to be missing something in your life. Mm-hmm. You're going to be missing that kvel, that, that feeling that uh, of fulfillment or that I have purpose in doing something. Yeah. And unless someone is just a very selfish person, <laughs> He yeah. just says, well, I don't care about anything else. I just want to have pleasures. I've had clients say, well, I deserve to have pleasures now. I deserve mm-hmm. to just to, to just have do fun things. Mm-hmm. And my reply to that is, yeah, you do. So do that. But it's not going to satisfy you in the long no, term. No, no. And it's it, and it, and you you just don't get that feeling. Mm-hmm. That that you're part of, like I said before, part of something larger than yourself. Now, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be, you don't have to go join uh, the Peace Corps. No. Right? But there's a, there's a fine, there's a line that's good, somewhere in between uh, just pure pleasure and mm-hmm. joining the Peace Corps and running off to help the, you know, starving people in, in some country, right? Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's an in-between there, a balance Look for a balance of uh, in your life where you are having some pleasures. And not, again, not everything has to be fulfilling. You could just go out to a nice mm-hmm. dinner and, and have a good time or a movie. You know, it's kind of like the difference between watching the movie Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, you know, as, as we know that often uh, Barbie is, took in twice the amount of money that Oppenheimer did. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so as far as finding meaning, it's interesting because you just brought me up. I don't even know how this came into my head, but you're talking to me. I remember we went on a trip to Hawaii when I was a child and there was a feral cat 
that was outside the you know place where we were and my mother named him George and we fed George every day while we were there and I'm assuming that's kind of the difference that's kind of a story that I can think yeah we had pleasure but we had this purpose while we were doing doing this I mean would that be a similar thing it's it, on a small scale, yes. Yeah, I on mean, a, but but those scale. little things that make a difference, you know. I think that one of the things it's like my I had an aunt that that would say, you know, if you walk into the drive into the grocery store, you know, take that cart that's left out and you put it away. That's you know, right. do something that makes you feel good about yourself, and and she called it diamonds in your life. And so those are little things, but they certainly would qualify wouldn't they as absolutely um uh, even do you remember when there were tolls on toll bridges absolutely and before we had the fast track things yeah yeah so i used to get to the toll plaza and i would always buy the toll for the person behind me uh, and then the, yeah and it was just such an easy way to make somebody's day yeah. and you see them pull up to the toll taker and the taker would just go nope it's already paid he paid it for you and they'd be like what you know and they'd zoom up next to me and just go thank yeah. you waving and everything it was so easy to do sure um i remember one time when uh, my friend bob and i were uh on was on a christmas uh day and we had just come from his parents' house where we were helping them celebrate Christmas. And they had each given us each a hundred dollar bill for Christmas. And we were driving home and we saw a homeless person on the street at the at the stoplight. And it was raining. And he was standing out there just saying, please, anything. Bob and I looked at each other and we nodded. We took the $200 rolled down the window and said, Merry Christmas. Oh, Larry. And I love that story. We changed this person's life. To this day, he is still telling that story, I'm sure. And yes, I'm still absolutely. telling the story. Yeah. And yeah. I don't miss $100, but <laughs> it made a difference in his life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to think about, you know, how you, um, you know, can help pull just these little moments and to begin if you're an individual you're starting to recognize these moments and that's the other side i think when you can do things like that so before we close out this uh, segment tell us a little bit about how you work with people in finding their um passion well in two ways i work with uh people um first of all i have an online interactive video course that's videos, uh, 18 videos, it's nine modules, and, and uh, it takes you through, what am I going to do with my life in retirement? All the way through, now I know what I'm going to do, and I know what my first step is to take. Mm -hmm. And when I do, and I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is um, where I actually coach with the person on Zoom and help them all the way through that whole course or just a one segment. Uh, I have a, a special for your guests up there today, which is that if they buy the course for 95 bucks, they get an hour and a half free coaching with me. Fabulous. And so everyone go to LarryJacobson.com and you can get the course for free. And in the meantime, we were going to be right back right after this. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.